I'll give you guys the answer early. Is Jake Paul natural? No. I can say that with pretty certain confidence in that statement, mainly because as you heard me mention, I know a lot of the people he trains with and I have heard that. a bump right over it. Those, those little bumps you had on your face kind of alarmed me. You wouldn't be happy to take me PEDs, are you? Listen, if you want to build in excuses, right? I mean, it just, it, it's so, it's so sad that like millions of people believe that. It's fucking absurd. Like, first of all, there's obviously none of that's true. Like Jake Paul's upcoming bout with Mike Tyson has stirred considerable controversy, with many viewing it as a mismatch of significant proportions. Adding fuel to the fire, Paul faces accusations of using performance-enhancing substances and steroids to gain an advantage over his more seasoned opponent. This isn't the first time such allegations have surfaced against Paul. As revealed in today's video, there's a widespread belief that Paul's boxing career relies heavily on steroids and strategic opponent selection. The boxing community, in particular, is critical of this fight, questioning the wisdom of pitting a young influencer and aspiring boxer against a legendary figure nearly three decades his senior. Karl Frock, a respected four-time world boxing champion and Hall of Famer, didn't mince words in expressing his disapproval and concern about the Paul Tyson showdown. Known for his no-nonsense analysis, Fru didn't shy away from labeling the bout as a glaring mismatch and a disrespect to the sport he holds dear. He's an icon in the professional boxing world, and Jake Paul's not even a pro boxer. So, when I heard this fight was happening, I was absolutely disgusted, and I think it's so bad for- Frock began by acknowledging the glaring mismatch between a young contender like Jake Paul in his mid-twenties and the seasoned veteran Mike Tyson, nearing 60. Frock emphasized Tyson's past dominance as the baddest man on the planet and his current pursuits, including his use of cannabis and battles with back pain, portraying him as far removed from his prime. Frock bluntly expressed disgust, labeling the fight as more exploitative than fair competition. He raised concerns about the fight's implications for boxing, criticizing Paul for seemingly bullying an older and presumably less capable opponent. Frock questioned Paul's motives for challenging Tyson, arguing that there's nothing admirable about defeating someone past their fighting peak. He also voiced apprehension about the fight's venue, Cowboy Stadium in Dallas, Texas, suggesting it prioritizes profit over the sport's integrity. Frock hoped Tyson's return to the ring wasn't solely due to financial need, expressing disappointment in the direction of professional boxing. Overall, Frock's reaction reflects disappointment and worry, viewing the match as damaging to the sport's credibility and highlighting broader concerns about celebrity influence in boxing. Adding to Paul's already tarnished reputation in boxing circles, recent accusations of performance-enhancing drug use exposed by YouTuber Kenny Ko could further impact the fight scheduled for July 20th. Kenny Ko delved into Jake Paul's training routine, citing insider knowledge from boxing and athletic circles. He challenged the notion that high-intensity athletes like Paul wouldn't resort to performance-enhancing substances, PDS, highlighting their widespread use across sports. Co flagged Paul's rapid physical changes and consistent avoidance of drug tests, sparking doubts about his natural ability. He stressed the role of steroids in combat sports for enhancing performance and recovery. Paul's past suspicions of steroid use resurfaced, fueled by his shredded physique and recent acne photos. Fans and even Tyron Woodley observed telltale signs. Speaking went of bumps, went right over it. Those, those little bumps you had on your face kind of alarmed me. You wouldn't be happy to take PEDs, are you? Listen, if you want to build in excuses, right? Amidst the mounting doubts about Jake Paul's athletic authenticity, how did he counter the accusations? Paul didn't shy away from addressing the steroid allegations head on. On his podcast, BSW Jake Paul, he candidly tackled the issue, offering his perspective with a mix of defiance and meticulous explanation. He vehemently refuted the claims, branding them unfounded and underlining his unwavering dedication to the sport's integrity. Through social media and public platforms like his podcast, he showcased his drug test results, directly challenging those questioning his integrity. His response blends frustration with a determined effort to vindicate himself. Additionally, Paul clarified misconceptions surrounding the rules of his fight with Mike Tyson, dismissing outlandish rumors about wearing headgear or tag-teaming with his brother Logan. He emphasized his serious approach to the bout and his respect for boxing. Paul's podcast, 
VSW Jake Paul, serves as a vital platform for direct communication with his audience, where he shares insights into his training regimen, thoughts on the upcoming fight, and responses to ongoing controversies, often joined by his girlfriend, Judah Leardam. Expressing excitement and confidence for the Tyson bout, Paul dismisses concerns about the age gap between him and Tyson, highlighting his readiness for the challenge. He also discusses broader ambitions in boxing, including future fights and aspirations for a world championship, demonstrating his bullish attitude towards his prospects against Tyson and his determination to silence doubters through his performance in the ring. Paul's assertive rebuttal to steroid allegations and clarification of fight rules showcases his proactive approach to addressing controversies as the Tyson fight looms closer. Focused on preparation, he aims to let his performance speak for itself, using his podcast to directly engage with fans and manage his public image effectively. However, not everyone shares the same optimism about the fight's legitimacy. Teddy Atlas, a renowned American boxing trainer, raised doubts about whether both fighters may have agreed on the fight's outcome, suggesting a potential WLE-style arrangement. While he praises Paul's integrity, Atlas speculates on the rationale behind Paul's confidence against an aging Tyson, cautioning against underestimating Tyson's enduring power and speed. This marks the first time Atlas has publicly questioned the legitimacy of a fight, indicating his surprise at Paul's perceived risk-taking and Tyson's continued capability. This is a very dangerous fight for Paul. I, Interesting. I think he might be making a mistake because, first of all, for me, he, he don't got a lot other than money and he's made plenty of money. The recent allegations against Jake Paul are casting a shadow over his upcoming fight, raising questions about his credibility as a boxer. While some see the match as a chance for Paul to prove himself without the stigma of drug allegations, others fear it may compromise the fight's integrity. In contrast, Mike Tyson remains focused on preparation, letting his performance speak for itself. The fight goes beyond mere competition, becoming a test of redemption and credibility for Paul, with fans divided over the steroid controversy. This intensifies speculation around the bout, turning it into a battle for honor and respect in the public eye. Overall, Paul's upcoming fight against Tyson is a crucial moment for his reputation and legitimacy as a fighter. A victory against a legend like Tyson could silence Jake Paul's critics and solidify his transition from internet personality to a serious boxer. It would elevate his status in the sport and validate his credibility, serving as a statement win in the boxing community. However, a defeat, especially a decisive one, could raise doubts about Paul's boxing ability and the authenticity of his previous victories, impacting his future in the sport. Looking beyond the Tyson bout, Paul's ambitious focus is already on future challenges, indicating his determination to continuously test himself against established fighters and pursue a path towards legitimacy and possibly a world championship. His boxing career stands at a critical juncture, with the coming months determining whether he can overcome controversies and criticisms to establish himself as a respected figure in the boxing world, regardless of the immediate outcome. Paul's unwavering determination to take on high-profile fights and challenge himself against established boxers suggests a future filled with ambition, controversy, and a relentless drive to prove doubters wrong. What are your thoughts? Can Jake Paul demonstrate his ability to defeat a boxing legend? And do you consider this a fair fight? Share your opinions in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more content like this.